Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. In this tutorial, you are gonna learn how to use JSON library with interfaces and not just classes. As you may already know, an interface can be implemented in multiple classes and they share some common functionality and also fields, or in Kotlin properties. Let's say that we have a fruit interface and we have two fruits, a lemon and also watermelon. There are two different fruits and some may argue that watermelon is actually a vegetable, but let's not care about that for now. And we want to save both inside preferences. In the real app, you might want to save them to the cloud, to the server, and also to get them from a server by calling an HTTP request and all of that stuff. But just for simplicity, in this tutorial, we are going to be dealing with preferences. Because you cannot instantiate an interface, there are some problems with that, so it's not as straightforward as it may sound. In order to be able to write and read JSON strings from preferences and then convert them to Kotlin objects, we need to add some class information to the JSON string that we are going to be saving inside preferences. So by the end of this tutorial, we will be able to save a random fruit inside preferences and then to load the fruit. Now it's lemon with acidity 4 and it's not sweet and its color is yellow. Then we save another fruit and we load it. The acidity has changed. And we should also be able to have a watermelon. Yeah, here it is. It's seedless. It's sweet and its color is red. So now without any further ado, let's get right to it. Let's create a new Android project and make sure that you have Kotlin support included. We want to select an empty activity and click next and finish. So this is the layout of our app and this image view is completely not mandatory. If you've seen my previous JSON tutorial in which we were saving a generic list inside the preferences as a JSON string, and if you haven't, definitely check it out. This is pretty much an exact copy, but there is just some text changes. So we have a single text view and then we have two buttons, button load fruit and button save random fruit. Now let's open up Gradle scripts and build a Gradle for the module app. And if you haven't already, let's implement the JSON library. A link to the library's GitHub repository is in the video description. And now let's press sync now. And now let's get to coding. Let's open up Java, the first package, and let's create a new Kotlin file, fruits. And let's first define an interface fruit. Every fruit will have two properties, val is sweet, which will be of type boolean, and also val color, which will be of type string. And as I've already said in the beginning, we will have two classes which implement the fruit interface, which will be a data class, lemon, which will have fields val acidity of type int. It will also implement the fruit interface. And so we want to implement all of the members which are not implemented currently from the fruit interface. And we want to implement them as constructor parameters. So let's hit this, select all of them and OK. Now let's organize it for a bit. So let's move it all down and this also. Lemon is not sweet, so is sweet will be false by default. And also the color of the lemon is usually yellow, so we can put yellow in here. And finally, we will have a data class watermelon, which will have a val is seedless, which will be of type boolean. It will also implement the fruit interface. Now let's put our cursor to the watermelon and hit Alt Enter and implement members as constructor parameters. And let's also organize it again. And I've spelled seedless wrong, which is embarrassing. Watermelon is usually sweet, so true. And the color of the watermelon can be red, but also yellow. So we aren't going to specify it inside here. The last thing that we should do inside this file is to add the two string method or actually function as they are called in Kotlin. So override fun to string and we are going to return lemon and then we will say that acidity is equal to an interpolated string acidity and then is sweet is equal to is sweet and finally color is equal to color. Now we can copy this and paste it inside the watermelon class, but it will say watermelon instead of lemon and it's not going to specify acidity, but rather is seedless. Cool, now let's get to main activity. And as a first thing, we want to add listeners for the buttons. So btn save random fruit dot set on click listener. And then also btn load fruit set on click listener. We are going to leave them as they are now. But now let's define two private functions. Save fruit to preferences, which will accept a fruit of type fruit. 
it will not return anything and inside it we want to get a val pref editor and we can get it from preference manager dot get default shared preferences and we want to get them for this context which is this activity and we want to get the editor so dot edit now if we were to save just normal classes and not the fruit interface we could do something like this val json string equals json to json and we want to convert the fruit which is passed into this function to json and finally we want to call pref editor put string under the key of fruit and we want to put there the json string which we have just generated and we want to apply the changes inside the preferences now the second private function get fruit from preferences it will return fruit now we can copy the first line of save fruit to preferences but without the edit at the end paste it in here it's not gonna be pref editor but rather preferences then we want to get the json string from preferences so val json string is equal to preferences dot get string under the key of fruit and we want to get the string and if it's not there we want to return null from this get string function then we want to return json from json and we want to convert the json string to an object of type fruit class dot java and interfaces cannot be instantiated so that's why we will get an error but let's go with this anyway for now and later we will see how we can fix this error now let's actually implement the logic for saving random fruit to preferences so inside the onclick listener we want to have a random object so we want to instantiate random class then we want to get one random number which we can get by calling random dot next int and the bound will be two because we want to generate just zero or one then we want to create a fruit object which will be either of type lemon or watermelon so val fruit is equal to and if random is zero the fruit will be a lemon with acidity of random dot next int and the bound will be five this time so from zero to four which is actually pretty acidic and otherwise so else if the random num is one we want to instantiate a watermelon is seedless will be equal to random dot next boolean and then the color of the watermelon will be that if we generate a random number and we want to generate just zero and one so the bound will be two and if this number is equal to zero the color will be red otherwise the color of the watermelon will be yellow finally we want to save this fruit to preferences so fruit the button load fruit on click listener is pretty simple we just want to get fruit from preferences and then we want to set the text views text to be equal to fruit dot to string all right now let's launch this and see what happens so here we are inside json interfaces tutorial and we save random fruit first and then we load the fruit from preferences and the json interfaces tutorial has stopped if we take a look at the log cat here we can see that interface cannot be instantiated what we are gonna do to overcome this problem is that we are gonna create a fruit type adapter so let's create a new class fruit type adapter this class will implement json serializer for fruit and also json deserializer also for fruit now let's hit alt enter and implement all of the members i will shrink this side panel so you can see better as you can see the serialize function returns a json element and the deserialize function returns the fruit the trick is that we want to bundle the class name with the json string inside preferences and then when we are reading from the json string so when we are deserializing we are gonna read the class name and we are gonna instantiate the class and not the fruit interface which as you've seen fruit interface cannot be actually instantiated so inside serialize function let's write return json object and on this object we want to apply that we want to add a single property the property's name will be class name we can write it as this as a string literal but we can also create constants so up here let's create private const val class name and also private const val data which will be the actual data which is saved inside the preferences so here we want to add a property under the name of class name and the actual value will be src which is the fruit object passed into this serialize function and we want to safely get the java class 
and then we want to safely get name from that. Also on this JSON object, we want to add the actual data. This time it's not going to be a property because it's going to be a group of properties. Actually, we will add it under the name of data and we are going to add a JSON element by calling context, which is this JSON serialization context, not the classical context like main activity is a context because it implements context interface from Android, but this is a different kind of context. So context dot serialize. And we want to serialize SRC, which is the object which implements fruit interface. All right, now let's get to the serialize function. Here we first want to create a JSON object. We can get it by calling JSON, which is this JSON element over here. And we want to get it as JSON object. And we want to use the safe access operator. Then we want to get the class name that we have saved inside the JSON object right over here inside serialize function. So val class name is equal to JSON object. We want to get and the member name is class name, which is our constant. And we want to get it as a string from the JSON string. So as string. Now in the end, what we want to do in the deserialize function is that we want to return context, which is the JSON deserialization context. And we want to deserialize the data from the JSON object. So JSON object, safe access and get member name is data. And then we want to specify the type of the data. We already have the class name. So we want to somehow convert this class name to a type or actually to a class. So we need to define class with Z's at the end because we are cool. And we somehow want to get it from the class name. For that, we are going to create a private fun get object class, which will accept a class name of type string, and it will actually be a nullable string. And this function will return class of any type. So we want to put an asterisk over here. And inside this function, we want to first try to return class for name class name. And then we want to catch nasty exceptions of type class not found exception. And since we are parsing JSON over here, we want to re throw this exception as JSON parse exception. So throw JSON parse exception. All right. Now up here, this class will be equal to get object class and let's specify the class name. And inside this return, we want to specify class. And here it writes that it's a type mismatch required fruit, but it found fruit nullable. I think that we can take the risk over here. And instead of safe access operator, let's write unsafe access operator. And now we are good to go. Now let's go back to the main activity and up here, let's create a private val JSON for fruit, which will be of type JSON. And we want to lazily get this, which means that the JSON object will be put into this property only upon the first call for this property. And inside here, we want to call JSON builder register type adapter because we want to associate fruit interface with our type adapter. So the type is fruit class Java. And the type adapter is fruit type adapter. And then let's create the JSON instance. And now inside save fruit to preferences, we are going to call simply JSON over here, but rather JSON for fruit. And we also need to specify a fruit class over here. This is because otherwise our type adapter, which is associated with fruit is not going to kick in inside get fruit from preferences. We also want to switch JSON to JSON for fruit. And we've already specified fruit class over here, so we don't need to do that in here anymore. And now we can actually run the app. Let's save a random fruit and let's load it. And this time it's going to work. Let's save it again and load, save and load. We have a watermelon now, so it's working just fine. Oh, and look, we have a yellow watermelon. So and that's it for this tutorial. If you want to get the code from this tutorial, click on the link in the video description, which is going to take you to resocoder.com. If this tutorial helped you with converting interfaces to and from JSON, give this video a like and also share it. If you don't want to miss more videos like this, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so that you aren't going to miss any of my new videos. If you have anything to say, any suggestions or questions, leave them in the comments. Follow me on social media and see you in the next video.